Marty Borghi's back playing golf. And in this video, we're answering the number one question long drivers and myself get on a regular basis. How long is your schlong dong? How can we actually hit it longer on course? And does your shit, all these elements you implement in the golf swing, actually make sense for on course play? I'm gonna play a couple holes and we'll find out. Let's go! It's winter in Munich, but we're playing with winter greens as well. And as we're playing from the yellow tees, we're also going yellow today, obviously, and short sleeves. So on the first hole, it's not that long. It's like 300 meters, which is like 330 yards. So we go two iron. And I want to hit a little stinger. And then let's find out. I mean, for you guys out there, I'm going to talk you through 12 buttons in total. You can push, hit it longer on course. And I believe I'm gonna touch three of them today. And I might know a major champion who's making use of those. You'll find out. So the idea about this whole thing is, the principles of long drive and golf are exactly the same. The question is simply, to what extent, or what level they're being applied. But for such a shot, 30 yards away, maybe, maybe 25 yards away from the flag, it doesn't make sense at all to apply any of these. This is like short game stuff, short iron stuff. Long drive does not make sense here. No, this is also the stuff that most long drivers that don't play golf do not practice that much. So the last time I was hitting such a shot was probably, don't know, six months ago. So let's, let's see how it works. Let's see how it does. Maybe this much, I go 54. Just try to run it up there. Oh, come on, that was not too bad, was it? Uh, two degrees Celsius out here. So let's see. That's all. Ooh! We made a par, it's not too bad. For first hole in months, that was not too bad. But on the next tee, we'll figure out what we can actually do to apply some long drive principles to the golf course. Oh, I think I gotta go six iron here. It's frozen, I can't even, oh. Shoot. I can't even like put the T in here. Ah, there we go. So listen, first long drive principle. In the backswing, if you sink down with your entire body, that's not very powerful. Some sort of upload motion, some sort of elevating your body, moving your center of mass up can be very beneficial to prepare a powerful downswing. So as you see yourself, when you check yourself in the video and you see your head like significantly go down, it might make sense to apply some element of this power element, a long drive, maybe by simply not sinking down as much or keeping your head level or actually uploading a little bit. And I'm wondering if any actual tour pros or major champions that, that aren't even that fast have thought about this. Uh, but for me, one of the most curious things was that uh, like my driving improved uh, even accuracy wise, you know, when I, when I put in those, those moves. Yeah, I think my, my body just started to move a little more efficiently and, and that benefit my, my driving overall, yeah. Yeah, so less of the robot move, more of an athletic move, like being more yeah. of an athlete. And that yeah. actually moved him from like, let's say the bottom bracket of driving distance to like the middle of the pack, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So talk us through it, what was it? Like what's, what's been like the, the most pronounced moves you've changed in your driving? Uh, I would say, so in my swing in the past, my coach was, always used to tell me that I looked quite squatty at the top of the backswing. Yeah, so actually going down. So exactly, yeah, yeah my knees were going down and, and there yeah. wasn't much arc, you know, much extension. Yeah. So what we worked on basically was trying to get as much, uh, yeah, arc, as much extension in the, yeah. in the backswing as I could. Starting, we started actually by, by the chest, so feeling rather the chest not rotating down, but almost opening up. It's almost to the like sky. an upload move. Yeah. Not as yeah. pronounced as in long drive as we're going super up, but it's the same principle, similar, just yeah, yeah, not yeah. as extreme, trying, right? Trying to stretch much as, as much as possible, and that actually uh, kind of as a, as a ripple effect, as a second effect. We started to see my my left heel coming off the ground. Was that a natural thing? That yeah. that just happened naturally? Yeah, yeah. we never That's actually cool. worked specifically on that, but we started to see not obviously with the shorter clubs, but with driver definitely 
when I was trying to, to stretch up, the, the left knee would come up and that obviously would give me more rotation, more, more power, more speed, yeah. So that's actually just your body reacting to this new motion you wanted to implement. You were thinking chest, but what actually happened was the left foot reacted exactly. and gave you that freedom, yeah. right? Yeah. And then in transition in the downswing, was that something you did too? In transition, yeah. So, so from there, we were almost practice uh, squatting down as much as I could and then jumping out of the squat. Yeah. So trying to, to create obviously as much vertical force as, as possible, which is, was something that I really didn't have in my, my swing before. Yeah, so it's basically an up, down and up motion, right? Exactly. Yeah. And that is so cool to hear from a PGA Tour professional because that's exactly what we do in long drive. We just do it the most extreme way. We go like super crazy up, then unweigh and try to jump up as much as possible. But these guys do it too. So everybody can actually benefit from it. So do you mind demonstrating? Yeah, we'll see. Let's do. Let's hit the six iron. Come on, it's just such an easy shot. Just right down the middle to prep a good shot into the green here. Let's go. That should be absolutely perfect. I haven't played golf in a while. We have the belt back home, which is awesome. Like in the meanwhile, I kind of start realizing what actually happened. It's pretty cool. And now we're back here just having fun out on course, talking long drive principles. How cool is that? We hit a little too far. Story of my life. I have no idea about my gapping or like anything. And like, I don't even know how long the hole is. So we're just having fun out here. But you heard what Francesco said. It makes sense to apply some sort of these principles. But does it make, for, uh, make, does it make sense with such a shot? No, 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 no. Three days later. No. So you heard Francesco say it. This principle absolutely makes sense for his long game. He's making use of the upload move, at least a little bit. Not as much as a long driver, but a little bit. But does it make sense for such a shot? Now I'm like 120 yards out. And no, I'm not gonna apply like the long drive principles, obviously. It's not about how far you hit it now, it's about how close you hit it. It's eventually getting you in a better position to hit it closer when you hit it longer off the tee, but from here it doesn't make a difference if you go like 54 iron, 52, 9 iron, whatever it might be. You just want to hit it close. And now, this is stuff that I don't practice, so let's, let's figure it out. Let's, let's see how we do. I go 54 iron. Oh, it's looking not too... Ah, is, that, is, is it? Oh, is actually... Oh, oh. Let's see. I think it was a little too far. <laughs> I don't know. It was a little right, but actually a pretty good shot. But it was a little too far. But these greens, these winter greens are so small, so they're super easy to miss. I got all the excuses on my side, right? Sit. Are you kidding me? Let's go, it's all about the long drive principles, right? You wanna load up, load up, and then putt. Fifty-four iron. So we play this one visually, okay? So I, visually means I go fifty-four iron and then we just hit it. Again, it's a par three, no long drive elements. But I mean, I hit my fifty-four iron longer than most people, obviously, because by utilizing all these long drive principles in my swing, I can practice faster. So that's elevating my maximum speed, but also amps up my speed reserve. So I'm faster on course because I practice so much being fast. I think that was okay. Oh yeah, I see the ball over there. Yeah, it was distance wise, it was pretty good. Let's chip it in, let's go. Look, this is all frozen over here. Don't believe me? Check this out. Let's go! Let's see, ram it in there. Told you it was right to left. Oop. Okay, mate, bogey, easy hole. But the next one, guess what, is a par five. We can go full throttle power elements in the golf swing. Let's go. Now finally is the time <laughs> to utilize long drive principles because look at this. I mean, it's long enough to go full throttle and it's fairly wide too. So we can really use everything out on course we can do and what makes sense for the golf swing to it as far as possible. So we already learned about the upload move, right? We're loading up. 
or at least we're not sinking, right? So we utilize that button a little bit. And now, the next part from up here, we wanna drop down and we do not wanna squat down as deep as possible, but we wanna squat down as quickly as possible to go back up again. So it's about up, down, and up again, but quickly. What do you think, Francesco? Yeah. Thanks, bud. So let's see what we can do out here. Up, down, up, huh? Up, down, up. You see that one? Dude, that was a freaking bullet. I don't know where it landed. I, I, I'm not quite sure if it's over the path or if it's in the first cut. We gotta figure it out, but that was great. And the cool part about all this speed training is actually with a stack who I just started partnering with, amazing company, by the way, with Marty and Sasho, like some of the best in the world in terms of biomechanics and the science behind the golf swing. And with a stack, you can actually combine speed training and mechanics training that makes sense for golf. Because I just launched my new training program with them that is guiding you through an app to utilize the right power principles in the golf swing to swing as fast as possible and utilize that out on course as well. So what we basically do is we're swinging this stick with different weights. That's why it's called the stack because it's a stack of different weights. And the app is actually giving you the right amount of swings, the right amount of rest, and the right amount of weight for your practice session. And all you gotta do is execute. And then it looks a little bit like this. So let, let's say, um, what kind of drill do we use? So I have 12 different drills in there, 12 different power elements. So let's do a step. So this one would be an example. And then you hit it further in no time. Let's go. Dude, this looks so fake. <laughs> it almost looks like we just dropped that ball over there. <laughs> but it's real. We made it. We made it over the path. So we know the long drive principles work. But now it's about the next shot and hopefully only one more shot or two to actually do well out here. It's a par five. So we actually have a good chance to make Elo birdie now. That is looking so good. Be the right distance, come on, be the right distance, be the right distance. Yes. One, two, three. Come on, it's not too bad, is it? Thank you. Boys and girls, if you enjoy watching me play golf out on an actual course, I believe it could be a lot of fun, especially when the course is a little bit more wide open so I can hit a lot of drivers. Comment down below with recommendations who I should reach out to play around the golf with. I have a feeling there's some great stuff coming up because for some reason with this weather, I actually enjoy it. Aim a little right, draw it back in. Going right at the pin. This thing is going right at the pin. I, I don't know what to do. <clears throat> Every single one of you guys knows this feeling, right? You hit it right at the pin. I mean, this was like right over the flag. And you make sure you check the hole first, right? But then you were like simply 15 yards too long. Fried egg lie. What now? <laughs> This is, this is terrible. So all I can, also it's a downhill lie as well. So it's a downhill lie, fried egg lie, no green to work with because it's not an actual green. So all we can do is like try to slam it. Come on, it's not too bad. I'm very happy with that. Uh, shout out to Munich Golf Club right here. Thanks for letting me practice out here for years and years and years. It's always, even in February, in really good condition considering we're having really bad winters out here. So looking forward to playing a lot out here this year. So people from Munich who want to play with me, send me a DM on Instagram or comment down below. They barely, oh God, it was a good read though. Last hole, super narrow, not a driver hole more like a two iron stinger again, but we already covered two power elements, two buttons. We can turn up and down out on the golf course as well. And the third one is actually the part of the second element. So we load up to then drop down and jump back up quickly. And that jump back up phase is actually the vertical component 
of the force you slam into the ground. So from here, as we apply force into the ground, we're elevating our entire body and put a lot of force into our system, into the golf swing, to create speed in a very effortless way. So the idea is not to crank it out on course as hard as you can, but to make use of those elements that make sense in the golf swing so you can go out and just swing it effortlessly and you're fast without feeling it. And the cool portion is all of these elements, and there's 12 of them, all of these elements are in the stack app. So with this beauty over here, you can obviously practice all of them combined, but also there's 12 exercises that isolate all of these elements. For example, for the upload move, there's an element, for the drop down phase is an element, and also for the vertical component is an element. I recommend you right now to get one of these sticks and then right here you have a license number on this little thingy right here you can utilize for your app to make use of the app as well and be guided through the whole process. Utilize my code MARTIN10 if you want a little discount but in my opinion this is not about the discount this is about the actual content so you go figure it out it's not only a speed system it's a mechanic system as well. Go check it out. It, this seems so fake. It seems so fake because that was such a nice shot. I mean, here it is right there. And I, I didn't even figure, I, I mean, I'm hitting my turn that far out here. I mean, the, the tees are a little forward, but this is only like, don't know, 34, 35 yards away from the pin. And to the actual pin, it would be like 60. That's pretty sick. If we make birdie, we're playing level par, first round of the year, six holes. That would be pretty cool. So, so if you feel like I can make this happen to make birdie out here, give me a like. And if you have a feeling, no, it's gonna be a par, give me a like as well. And if you have a feeling I skull it into the bunker and then make bogey or worse, give me a thumbs up as well. And if I put it in the hole, you please subscribe. Zip, zip. This is why I suck on course on full display. It's like 35 yards away, mid shot, I felt like, oh, it was great contact. Not too bad. <laughs> and slam it in there. Let's go. That was a lot of fun. I really enjoyed doing this. I didn't expect to enjoy it that much. So you guys, please comment down below if you like this style of video because it's so different because I'm explaining kind of golf, long drive mechanics while playing golf. So I have a feeling there's a couple more elements to, well, this type of content. So comment down below if you feel like I should do more of this explain more of the buttons in the long drive swing that are feasible for golf as well and how you can implement them out here. Peace out.